viewers, welcome once again to Smart Agro Innovation. Today we are going to talk about diseases management. You know, um, starting with the nursery of plantain and bananas. Today we are going to talk about diseases and pest management in plantain to banana farming. In the Lusa family, there are common diseases that normally attack the banana or the plantain plants. You can see that we have this setup here. Welcome once again to the farmer's classroom. Now, today we are going to talk about one deadly disease which is tormenting or inhibiting the welfare of plantains to bananas uh, in this our world. I'm going to talk about Panama disease. The Panama disease of plantain and, ba and bananas is being caused by fungus. And this fungus, that is Fusarium ozosporum. This fungus attack the plants and what it does is that it destroys the vascular system of the plants. When that happens, it destroys the internal component, which is normally termed as the heart of the plantain or the banana. That is the epical meristem. Once that is being destroyed, then the welfare of the plant is not achieved. For example, it affects the formation of fruit because we all know that the inner or the heart or the eye or the epical meristem grow to form the stalk which forms the fruit bunch. And when that one is being affected by this Panama disease, you will see that in the long run, it will give you a mal function or a mild fruit bunch, very small in size. And sometimes it also results when that attack, when the Panama attack the plant, it results in shrinking or wilting of the whole plant and then it fall off. Or sometimes the fruit will be there and it will ripe prematurely. Ripening of the fruit bunch or the fruit itself will begin. Meanwhile, it has not grown to that stage. And when that happens, it affects the commercial value of the plant. Today, I'm going to show you um, the symptoms and then we move through how best we can manage all those diseases. Now, starting with diseases and we are moving with Panama, I will do some simple explanation and from there we move to the field for simple observation. What it does is that once it attacks the plants, you can see I have some leaves here. This is affected leaves. This is also affected. Affected. And this is a clean leaf. After everything as we've been doing all the time, we should take you to the field for physical examination or observation. Now, let's move to the field before we come to the leaves. Um, but before we go there, this leaves, you see that there is longitudinal strep, yellow patches on the leaf. This is, the, this is not a normal symptom, a normal leaf. This is a diseased leaf, so you can see it. When you see such a thing on your plantain plant, ranging from the lower leaf to the top leaf, except the inner leaf, and you see that there is Panama infestation. But in some instances, um, lower leaves will grow, will be yellowing like this, but if you look at the other leaves that link up to the heart or the internal or the inner structure, that is not a symptom of Panama. Take it from me. We shall go to the food and I'll show you the differences. The affected banana plant, <laughs> banana or plantain plant, affected with banana, and then the unaffected but will show similar symptom. You see? So these are affected ones. You see yellow patches, the stripes, you know, in here. And this is also another leaf. You know, what Panama does is that it destroys the leaves and then you see some patches splitting downwards and you see that the PTO, everything will be destroyed. 
look yellowish and dark in color. And then sometimes if you get closer to the plant, you see that there is a smelly and unpleasant smell, odor like a fish, you know. When just like roasting a fish or if you put fresh um, fish, which is fleshly, laid down for some time, you see that it smells like that or a rotten egg or something. These are some of the symptoms. So I don't want you to combine the two. Sometimes water stress will lead to yellowing of the leaf, but it will only, when it comes to water stress, it will only affect the lower leaves, not the other leaves. So that is the differences. Now let's move straight to the throat. I say um, to the board. These are affected leaves, and this is a healthy leaf. Let's move straight to the board. When Panama affects Panama disease, when Panama affects your plantain plant, you see that. Let's see. This is the stem. These are the leaves growing nicely. This is the inner leaf. This is the base. This is the seed stem. And we have so let's see. This is the seed stem. This is the Africa Mary stem. These are the leaves and this is the stem. So, when you see that when there is Panama infestation, which is a fungal disease, there will be some patches on the epical berry stem like this. Some yellow patches, as you see here, will be shown on the, um, on the stem. We'll take you to the foot to watch the observation and then we stretch out to the pseudo stem, then through the sheets, it eats and gets to the epicamera stem here. So this is the epicamera stem. And in the long run, you see, this is the heart of the banana or the plantain. So, in the long run, it will start eating through the apical berry stem. When that happens, automatically, it affects the vascular system of the plant. And when that happens, automatically, um, it will fall off, or the whole plant will wilt. Because it is going to affect all the um, the chemical and the physical processes that which is occurring within the plants, it will affect um, air circulation, movement of nutrients, and all those things. And when that happens, the plant is automatically diseased because it will affect the normal functioning of its performance. And when that happens, it also exhibits certain character. Restricts like what I've shown you, and that does not help the growth of the plant. It affects it. So, in the long run, if you cut open the stem, then Panama affects it. Let's say this is the stem. You cut open, you will have something like this a surface area like this with some black spot on the surface. I'll show you the picture. So let's see this is the epicam stem. Then automatically it will affect the whole thing. Let's say you have cut open the whole stem. This is how the surface area will look because it is being affected by this fungi that is the fusarium or the sporium. So that's how it is. For you to believe what we are saying. Now we have diseases management. So let's move to the third and observe how these symptoms, when you have a plantain or banana farm, when they're okay, you can easily detect it. Let's go.
Amount is this. Panama disease or the Fusarium disease, which is a fungal disease, uh, these are some of the symptoms. You can see that the leaf, um, you see some yellow patches in the leaf, just like this one, as you can see. You know, some, not all symptoms is proven to be to be Fuser, to be um, Panama disease because some may be water stress. That one, uh, I will show you now. You see these patches on the leaf extending to the petiole, and then also it gets into even the epical meris. If you look at the base, the, the pseudo step, there is a longitudinal stretch like this. As you can see, the stretch at the base it extends to the inner structure of the whole um, plant. If you look at the inner structure, that is the epical meristem. This will extend deep inside this particular plantain plant. For example, um, you will see that there is longitudinal stretch, these yellow patches here. Once it gets in there, then it destroys the epical meristem and that leads to the whole velting of the Plantain plant. So that is how it is. That is Panama disease. That's one symptom. If we cut open this, you will see that these stretches will extend deep into the inner structure, which forms the stalk, and that is the epical meristem. So that is one symptom of Panama disease. That this is a clean plantain plants because the panama disease mostly attack the plantain plants or the banana plants um as low as five months old so if you take this one for example you can see that the whole plant looks healthy if you look at the upper portion there is no um symptom of panama disease as you can see here it's clean and the leaves are also doing well they are full they, are, they look green the inner leaf is up and going and the other side leaves are also growing healthy but let's look at the lower leaves if you look at these lower leaves you can see that they are also exhibiting some kind of symptom but this symptom shown here is not a symptom of panama disease no this is not a symptom because they are lower leaves they are the lower leaves sometimes through water stress the lower leaves can start developing uh, these characteristics of yellowing and these patches or this. these are not diseases so all that you need to do is to prune them because it has not attacked any of the other leaves here so it's just a water stress and we have overgrown so you just have to prune it to make the plant look healthy but with the panama disease you see that all these lower leaves all these leaves will show characteristics of longitudinal patches yellow patches on it but here you see that it is clean and the inner leaf or the heart of the plantain which is where the epical meristem is found it is growing nicely so this particular plant is not exhibiting um, a symptom of panama disease yeah